Ah, good morning, and uh, welcome to another daily devotional. Are you a Christian? That's the question that we've been uh, examining and uh, going to examine for the next few weeks. Uh, I suggested last time that uh, if we are, we need to examine the fruit that we are producing in our lives so that we can honestly answer that particular question. And uh, we referred to um, understanding the fruit of the Spirit, what Paul talks about there in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. That's where we see how the Holy Spirit has come into our lives because of our salvation and has affected our character and is producing these various virtues in our lives. Those which are in line with the designation that we have of being children of God. Love was the first one, and we said possibly the the, the main one that every, every other virtue flows from. And now we come to the second one in the list. Uh, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, where Paul says, Joy is another virtue or fruit of the Spirit that Christians should have in their lives. Joy means to be delighted. Are you delighted by and in God? And is this joy visible in your life? Just as we said, a fruit tree is known by its fruit. Are you known by the virtues of your Christian faith? Is joy, is joy a real part of your life and your existence? Now, joy is a word which has caused much debate in the church over the years. I remember once I was preaching on rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice from the book of Philippians. And I said this, no Christian should ever be miserable. <laughs> and I stand by that. However, following my sermon, someone came to me and quite forcibly demanded that I retract that particular statement. And the reason was this. The person said, well, Christians can be unhappy. Of course, I then had to stop and explain uh, to this person that there's a vast difference between unhappiness on the one hand and being miserable on the other hand, just as there is a major difference between happiness and joy. See, circumstances can affect our happiness. Difficult or bad things can happen to us and can cause us to be upset or to be unhappy. And there are times when the strongest Christian, the most joyful Christian, will know times of unhappiness and sadness and be upset. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, being miserable is slightly different. That's a deeper emotion than unhappiness. And you would almost say that it's a character trait, or I would suggest a character flow. See, miserable people, miserable Christians, live with this attitude of, woe is me, and all of life is against me, and everything is wrong, and I have no happiness, I have no joy, I have nothing to be happy about. And you wonder if those people have ever truly experienced the joy of forgiveness. Because that's what it's all about. That's what this joy that Paul talks about here centres on. It centres on the joy of forgiveness. Now see, happiness can also be affected by our circumstances, can't it? Or it is conditional. Whereas joy is a more powerful and a deeper experience that we have in God. Recently, I was very happy. Now, some of you might find that very difficult to believe. I was very happy because someone came to the house and gave me a gift. They gave me £200, which, you know, with all this lockdown uh, business that we've been going through, I've had no income to speak of, <laughs> Except I must admit, the government have helped out to a certain degree. 
but no income because I've had no meetings. I've not been able to get out and, and do what I usually do for my ministry. And so, you know, I was really happy and so pleased that this person had gave me a gift to help us through this particular difficult time. But, you know, if that person had called to the house and said hello and had gone away without giving me a gift, that wouldn't have affected my joy. Because my joy comes from God and from knowing the salvation that I have in him. See, my joy is not affected by my circumstances, but my happiness might be. Because happiness comes and goes. Sadness comes and goes. But joy is always there. Because it's a result of the salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. There's a lovely song that I sometimes listen to. It says this. I'm just a sinner. Saved by grace. That's why we have joy. That's why we have that deep-seated joy in our hearts and in our lives. Because we know that we have been saved, we have been forgiven. See, the joy which is a fruit of the Spirit is not dependent on human emotions or human circumstances or even on good deeds. But it rests simply on the knowledge of salvation from God. It doesn't rest on us as individuals. It doesn't rest on what other people do. Or don't do it simply rests on what Jesus has done and that's why we have joy that's why this joy should be in us and should be evident Paul says in another place in Romans chapter 14 and verse 17 he says for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit See, our joy does not rest on externals, Paul says, you're like eating or drinking. Those external things or those humanly conceived ideas of what brings happiness. But he says our joy, or the kingdom of God, sorry, rests on righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Which is another way of saying it's a result of our salvation <clears throat> do people see your joy in God now I don't mean a false happiness when you go around smiling at everything and thinking that everything's fine in the world because we know it's not and at this time we are really facing difficult times and many people are unhappy about situations that they have faced and many people are sad uh, and many people are grieving and mourning and it's such a difficult time for us as individuals However, we are not called to smile at everything. We are simply called to have joy in the fact that our sins have been forgiven. That we have that deep sense of joy which emanates from the experience of salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. Do people know that joy in your life? Do people know that your joy is not dependent on circumstances but on salvation we used to sing a song in sunday school a long time ago and it used to go something like this i've got the joy 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 deep down in my heart Do you know there are some christians Whose joy is so deep down they need mining equipment to get it out, to extract it. People don't even know they are Christians because they have no joy in God. Are you saved? Do you know you are a Christian? Do you have the joy of the Lord in your life? See, all true Christians should be an advertisement for the joy of the Lord. Am I a Christian? That's the question that we've posed at the beginning of these devotions. You are, if you know the joy of the Lord from salvation, 
so that whatever your external circumstances, you stand firmly in the joy of the knowledge of salvation. I trust today that you will go out knowing the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Amen.